So we are at uh, the Commodity Classic in San Antonio, and uh, thank you to our broadcast sponsors, including Wisconsin Soybean Growers Association, Wisconsin Corn Growers, DeKalb Asgro Seeds, uh, Samantha Branton, your representative in western Wisconsin, Darylin Equipment Services, and BASF, also Ashley Gausman, our BASF representative serving northwest Wisconsin. I'm with uh, Chad Asmus. He is with BASF. We're going to talk about Ingenia today. And Chad, I had a chance to talk last year a little bit, but uh, for those that may not be familiar with the Ingenia, let's to talk about some of the benefits and the features of the product. Sure. Ingenia herbicide is quite simply the most flexible and advanced dicamba for use on dicamba tolerant soybeans and cotton. It provides a new and effective site of action that's effective on more than 200 of the most difficult broadleaf weeds, including glyphosate resistant species. That's going to enable growers to finally get back the weed control that they need. Also, I know one of the big parts of this, because dicamba's been around forever. Or for a long time, and but it's been reformulated, bigger drops, we can control where it goes, and that's really important. Well, there's an important distinction between volatility and drift. And um, to address volatility, we in invented a, an, an entirely new salt of dicamba um, that's called BATMA. And so what that's enabled us to do, um, and that's unique to BASF, what that's enabled us to do is, is to reduce volatility down to the point where um, we can now focus on maintaining an on-target application to mitigate spray drift. Uh, by creating an entirely new salt of dicamba, that's also enabled us to have a product with a higher loading and a lower use rate. So Ingenia herbicide is the lowest use rate dicamba on the market. And that's going to be important because that drift, that volatility, when you start to have those issues, that can lead to improper application and weed resistance, which is what we're trying to beat here. Well, it's imperative for um, applicators to read and follow label directions, and there are some very explicit guidelines on the label about how to properly apply Ingenia herbicide. Um, there are very explicit guidelines, but they're actually just uh, extensions of best management practices that we've been employing with status herbicide and corn, for example, for a number of years. Uh, stewardship and application stewardship has been at the core of our development of Ingenia herbicide, um, as evidenced by our involvement with the on target application academy. Since 2012, we've trained over 13,000 growers and custom applicators in the best management practices for Ingenia herbicide. Uh, and now we've created online content, um, taken all that important information um, and put it into a convenient online format. Um, interested parties are welcome to visit uh, thegrowsmartuniversity.com, click on the herbicides tab, and go through that uh, online on-target application tab. And if you would like more information, you can also uh, talk to Ashley Gausman, your BASF representative in Northwest Wisconsin. Chad, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Chad Asmus, he is with uh, BASF. We're at Commodity Classic. I'm Brian Winnikins on WRDN.